Hey guys! Okay, so I get asked a lot of the time, um, especially at wedding parties, how I get my hair to be like, I guess, wavy as opposed to curly with a curling iron. Um, I think that everyone thinks it's way harder than it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a quick tutorial of how I do my hair and what I use in it. Um, you're going to be mind blown because it's so simple. Alright, well, I have day two hair. Okay. Okay. So day two hair. Typically, um, I run a little bit of dry shampoo through my hair. Right now, what I've been using is this Mineral Playback Dry Shampoo by Matrix. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So if I were to do this, I already did this this morning, but I'll redo it. Um, I just take it and hold it about a bottle width from my head get all the parts that would be really gross like around my face and my part line and then I don't know about you guys but I sweat a lot so I get it underneath here I actually had somebody ask me how to use dry shampoo yesterday so there you go there's your answer um and then I just have like a wet brush and just comb it through if you guys don't have one of these you need to get one like they are amazing Okay, so when my hair was longer, I could like last my curls out probably two, even three days. But apparently, my short hair doesn't roll like that. So, I actually have to like do my hair. Okay, so if I were to have wet hair, one thing I would put in as a styling product um, would be this Silk Bonifier Mousse. And like, I put this in whether or not I dry it or let it air dry. I just think it gives like a really light, like extra fullness to my hair which I have really thick hair but I actually like that my hair gets bigger um some people want their hair like stick straight that's just not me so yeah but okay so the next thing I'm gonna use is a heat protectant and this one is what I've been using lately I use it on all my brides um it's matrix heat buffer um it's kind of like it only has like a two hold factor so when you say it's like a straightening hair hairspray like that's what they used to call them I don't know exactly the wording but I just spray it all over my head nothing particular if I was gonna like part my hair off then I guess I could do it per section but seriously I told you keeping it as easy as possible okay and so I'm gonna just give you an example but I'm not actually gonna curl my hair like this so if you're just beginning and you're trying to figure out how to do this properly or whatever break it up into sections because it's easier um, I don't even have clips at my house because, like, I'm hairstylist of the year, apparently. <laughs> so, I would just use, like, a rubber band, clearly. And, like, put this on top of my head. You look completely ridiculous. Well, guys, where that dress cut, my whole video just got deleted. <gasps> okay, so I will go through what I talked about and I'll curl, like, one side of my head this piece is driving me nuts anyways so we're gonna roll with that let me turn on my iron again this is the FHI um, I don't know if it says FHI heat platform I don't know if that's just what all their stuff is called I have no idea I don't know that much about FHI but I do know that I actually really like this curling iron and this is like the one tool that's at my house because like I said I'm here so of the year um, no, I just don't bring home my other tools. I typically, if I'm at work and I'm styling my hair, I would style it with my style winder or my bioionic flat iron. Um, and I love both of those, but I actually get more questions on how to curl your hair with a curling iron, which is surprising, but it's true. But I think because we all used to have curling irons and so now everyone's got all these curling irons and don't know what to do with them because everyone curls with like a wand or a flat iron. So, what I'm going to do is I'll still show you all the products that I use, all of that good stuff. You saw me use the heat buffer, section out my hair. I don't typically section my hair out, so it's fine. Um, I will show you that I do the top pieces a little bit different. I don't want to add all these heat to my hair, but I mean, so I'll turn this off and I'll show you. Okay, so I like let my natural part like just take over because I am the person that touches my hair all the time. Like I literally flip my hair back and forth all day long. I don't know if it's a nervous habit. I don't know if it's what I do when I get stressed. I have no idea. But that's just something that I do. So I kind of take like a triangle-y kind of 
section up at the front of my head and I always go away from my face so like the clip would be towards this and this is off so just know that I'm not like adding heat to like this all this product it is still kind of a little warm but I like leave out the ends and then I slowly will let it take over the ends all I do is like push this back and forth and just to loosen it up and I keep my hand on it just in case it slips but okay, because it is still warm, you're gonna see it. It just leaves like this perfect curl. Do not touch your curl, leave it, let it cool. Okay, so same deal over here. And then I'll curl like these very front pieces again, just so you guys can get the whole gist. But you can see my um, ends are left out and I roll it up to the top, I let it seep through. I'm not gonna tell you a time because everybody's different. And my curling iron is typically on like a medium setting. I do have really thick coarse hair but I actually don't need that much heat and you'd be surprised like especially people with thin fine hair they're like no turn it up all the way that's really bad for your hair so don't do that okay so again I'm just taking like that bottom section and going through and I'm just gonna hold it obviously my curling iron's off I'm sorry guys like literally I just wanted to cry when this whole thing was deleted so I took you step by step through my whole entire head Okay, so over here the bottom section too, and I will show you like how I transition the sides. And once again, keep the end out. Pull it until it's warm. I know it's gonna be really tempting to pull those curls out, but leave them alone. And then this second section, you guys are gonna think I'm insane. I literally take like from the top to the bottom <laughs> and I curl it. And then around the top of my head, I do separate these. So like the back of it, I pretty much like split it down the middle and take this and curl it one way and this and curl it the other way. And underneath, um, especially in this very back area, you don't, you can't see it. Like, especially with my hair, like I have so much hair, you just can't see it. So I just curl it whatever way I can get my grip on it. So, I mean, that's like pretty unprofessional, but that's real life for me. So you guys want me to be honest, that's what I'm being. So I still leave out the ends. I would still click it a little bit just to move it down. Make sure you have a handle on this just in case it flips out because sometimes it does. Um, if you wanted it to be a little bit of a piecier look, you could use a smaller iron and you could take smaller sections, but this is a pretty big iron. I want to say this is a one, I think this is a one and a half inch. I don't know. It could be a one inch. I, it has to be a one inch, I would assume. But it is still pretty big, especially for my short hair. So um, you could use like a three quarters of an inch. That is even like, I know it looks like a tiny smidge, but it makes a huge difference. Um, but this is what I have in my house. This is what I use pretty honestly. Like whenever brides see me, that's what I did because I curled my hair at home. And anybody of you that know me know that either my hair is wavy or I have it in a bun. So either way. But okay, what I would typically do is take this, like after I haven't let my hair cool, obviously it's a little bit different right now, but um, I take this texture spray and this is the Kenra Dry Texture Spray. Oh, it smells like heaven. And you just squirt it or spray it um, a, like a bottle's width away from your hair. And I do like all the parts I would, almost like dry shampoo. And it has like a cooling factor to it. So I feel like it almost cools your curls um you do have to be careful with this though if you have dark hair and maybe you'll be able to see it on my hair well maybe I'll, I'll just do it for you oh it doesn't show up um sometimes like if I put this on really dark hair and I'm like have lights around me or whatever it shows up like a white kind of cast all you have to do is like rub your hands through it it'll come right out um but typically that means you got it just a little too close or this spray just has like a white texture to it so that's what happens um but you guys are gonna be like shocked when I tell you this because I actually don't use any hairspray on my hair pretty much ever but as you can see like my hair was clearly like I already redid it but you just rub all that stuff in it'll make your hair really big and then how I finish mine because I just I don't know I'm an oil girl guys I can't help it I love the way that oil feels I love the way it makes your hair feel I love the way it smells like I am that person that like during the day I want to like have somebody walk by me like ooh, what's that smell well it's not even my perfume it's literally my hair it smells that good 
Okay, but the oil that I use is this Matrix Oil Wonders. It's the Egyptian Hibiscus Color Caring Oil. Almost every single person that I do behind my chair gets this in their hair. For bridal parties, it's a little bit different, but because I need to make sure, I've never seen these people and I need to make sure their hair doesn't fall. But for people in my client, like when I, or in my chair, when I'm blow drying or after I finish their service or anything, like especially after I finish a blowout, I always put this in there. And you only need like a teeny tiny bit. I don't know. Yeah, you guys can see that. It's like a teeny tiny bit. And it, that goes a long way. And like, I'm not kidding you. I put this in someone's hair three times in one service and it did not feel bad. It did not feel weighed down. It just felt, felt amazing. I don't even know. It's a micro oil. So it goes into your hair shaft as opposed to like sitting on top of it. So you don't get that like heavy vibe that most oils get. And it's just amazing. But no kidding. I don't put any hairspray in my hair and this is how I would roll and walk out the door. And I have these big huge waves and all I did was shake it out once I curled it and I let it cool. That's it. It's as simple as that. Um, I hope this was helpful. Obviously I'm sorry that I didn't get to take you step by step because my iron would burn in my hair if I did that over and over and over. Um, but I really do hope this was helpful. Like I said, lots of people ask for this so now you have it. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!